$20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details, U.S. only. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Hey, man. I just have a question to ask my friend, Vicky. Where's my damn mask? On the way. Okay, good. That's, uh, <laughs> that's the new checks in the mail. Oh, yeah, your mask's on the way. Uh, I got news for you, though. If you actually want to pay for a KISW face mask, I bet you'll get it a lot quicker. But us, you know, us freeloaders like me, I got to wait. Uh, these masks are amazing because, uh, first of all, you got them to stop the COVID. Second of all, uh, you got a skull design or a camo design. Third of all, you've got stocking stuffers to think about, all sorts of holidays coming up. So why the hell not get one? And then fourth of all, which really should be first of all, a portion of these masks sold goes to the Washington State Nurses Association. So these masks are really the greatest creation in the history of greatest creations. Thank you. That's got and if you want to buy one, go do it. KISW.com. Let's play B Mix. It's time to play the game. Yeah. So everybody scream his name. B Mix. Don't be a loser. Whoa. B Mix. You're a loser. It is time to be. Pump it over Monday! What? Pump it up! I actually feel like that. Yeah, I can tell. That's the two cups of coffee I do for you. All right, good. Yeah, I needed it, man. I could tell. Earlier, I was uh, even making fun of you, and you were just like, yeah, man, whatever. I want to blame the Seahawks, but in reality, uh, Friday night, I stayed up till 3 in the morning. What? What the hell did you Friday night? night? What do you mean? Board games. Dance yeah. party. Oh, yeah, you're right. Board Saturday games. night, I stayed up till 3 in the morning. Board games. Yes. Wow. Well, we have a couple of friends from Bremerton, and they came over. They got a hotel so they could board game all day at my house Friday and Saturday. Wow. And for them, all day means we're going to stay till 3 in the morning and then drive back to the hotel that's in Bellevue and then come back. I was say, why even get a hotel and just stay up 24-7? Yeah, right. Bang it like all out and school. then go home. See, when we're at con, Steve, that's exactly what we do because uh. you just walk upstairs to your room if you want to. Oh, now it's just BJ Con. Well, it's just it's, a that's what people. we're doing. We're, we're, we're doing these kind of cons. We have our six friends that we yeah. know, all right, well, you're going to be part of my six friend group. Just have them move in. Oh, yeah, right? Well, no, hold on a second. Well, maybe then they can cook for you. You don't have to you know, rely on the microwave. Just think the minute you get home, boom, they're waiting for you. Boom. To play vi- board games. Yeah, but, you know, I-, I think I like some of my friends just playing board games and, and then, then they leave. <laughs> <laughs> I like some of my friends that way. It's like a t- grandparents with their child, grandchild. Yep. And I feel like also <laughs> my friends like it that they get to leave because yeah, I'm they me. Get to get away. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like it's a mutual, yeah, we've had about enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get to our contestant today. We got Freddie in Centralia. Freddie, are you there? I am. Excellent. All right, Steve, get out of here. You're right. <laughs> you see that door? Yeah. Go ahead and hit it on your... Hey. Wow, yeah, yeah. that was uh, yeah. oh, back to the show being him. tired. Yes, uh, for those playing at home, Freddie will have sixty seconds to answer ten questions. Freddie, you can pass all you want, but you'll only get three guesses per question. You ready? Roger. 
Which animal was the car as big as in the hit song Love Shack by the B-52s? Uh, Volkswagen? No. Dotson? No. <laughs> uh, pass. Oh. What kind of fruit juice is in a mojito? Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Put him on the holder there. And it wasn't a grapefruit. And, uh, well... Yeah, I, you, I thought he said the S word. Did he say the? Blank? He said he dropped the F bomb. Oh, I could have become. I, yep. I heard S, but well, he just, did. Well, he he said shoot, oh. and then he dropped the F bomb. So guess what? You swear and you don't. You get a zero, buddy. Is that yeah. me? I get a play. Oh yeah, sure. Go the, for it, Vicky. The Nintendo Switch was released worldwide in what recent year? Oh, was that uh, 2017? Yes. What symbol shares a key with the number four on a standard computer keyboard? Don't look. A pound? Uh, no. Uh, ampersand? No. Pass. Which NBA team was based out of Toronto? Pass. <laughs> a Charlie oh. Brown Thanksgiving first aired in on CBS in what decade? The 50s? No. 40s? No. 60s? Oh. No. And Vicky and Foulmouth Freddy get one correct. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm so glad I would have gotten the mojito one. Dang it. Nice. I'm so glad glad you guys were on the dump button because I thought he said, uh, like, I want to have, I want to, like, you know, things suck in the world. But he actually said oh, the other no, bad nope, word. Nope, he did not. I totally missed that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you see, it's a good thing you guys were on the, on the button because well, I, yeah. I, I really suck at that. Danny's word. got them fast fingers. But Danny's good. Boop, boop, you know boop, it. Boop, 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 boop. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, listen, play, better to be safe than sorry anyway. Hell yeah. But you know what? We are trying to protect the people. Don't right? swear in front of me. Yeah, right? Yeah, I will we'll stop that. You. Yep. Hey, Steve. Uh, <laughs> hey, Steve, you don't <laughs> you don't have to worry about a perfect 10 today. Nope. You know, yeah, two questions in. Freddie dropped the F-bomb. He sure nice. Did. Yeah, so Vicky uh, kind of finished it off there. And, awesome. well, yeah. Good for Freddie. <laughs> yeah, he got pumped yeah, up on Monday. This, uh, this should be good for you. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, are you ready? Uh, yeah. Please don't swear. Uh, okay. <laughs> Which animal was the car as big as in the hit song Love Shack by the B-52s? Got me a Chrysler as big as a whale. Yes. I'm it. about to set sail. Woo! What kind Woo! of fruit juice is in a mojito? Lime? Yes. Oh, I was going to say plum. <laughs> <laughs> the Sorry. Nintendo Switch was released worldwide in what recent year? 2018. No. So in 2017. Yes. What symbol shares a key with the number four on a standard computer keyboard? Mm. I'm going to go cash money. Dollar signs. Yes. Which NBA team is based out of Toronto? The Raptors. Yes. yes. A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving first aired on CBS in what decade? The 60s. No. The 50s? No. The 70s. Yes. Nice. St. Petersburg, Florida is named after a city in what country? Um, France. No. Uh, Mexico. No. Africa. No. Oh. How many tournaments make up a Grand Slam in golf? Four. Yes. What is the female version of the Duke title? Duchess. Yes. Nice. What color flag is the signal for surrender? White. Yes. yes. And Steve, almost a perfect 10. But if you add them up, both together, both scores, you get a 10. You get nine correct and a win. Oh. Yeah, and the one was Vicky. Yeah, Vicky, yeah. she was almost good. Well, she got one correct, and she would have known the lime one, she said afterwards. So. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this one is a big one. Another one bites <laughs> yeah. huh. Another one says the bad word. Yeah, right. Another one bites the dust. I'm always confused by, like, you know, usually we have uh, we have Italian, European influences for the names of our places. Yes. I wonder why for St. Petersburg, who, did somebody come from Russia? Is that why they named it that? May I, maybe, but you are correct. Yeah, I never it understood from why. Russia, yeah. yeah, it's a Russian city. I don't know. You know, I mean, like all of the New England states, if you know, all the New England towns, like in Massachusetts, mm-hmm. they have them all over in England. Well, yeah, all they the all came over, you know, yeah. on the Mayflower or whatever the hell and they did. A on lot that. of a lot of places in Florida, you can have some sort of Spanish influence in some of yeah. the names, or even like yeah, like Cuban or something like that, or Caribbean or anything. Those Native lines. American names, absolutely. Little, so I don't know where you know how did how did the Russians first the, first the elections, or actually it was probably first, first the, the city. elections, yeah. <laughs> See, they started with St. Petersburg and then oh, next the elections. And they got in what about Moscow, Idaho? Ooh, Forget see. about it. Yeah. They probably don't even like Moscow. Tired mules. of it. I think they better like Moscow mules. Yeah. Oh. I am tired of Russia's interference in the naming of our cities. Uh, well, congratulations, Steve. You won. Good job, Steve. <laughs> Woo! 
I got to talk to my buddy Byron. Uh, of course, we talked about him before because he's the guy that with the big pinball collection, and he also puts on the Northwest Pinball Show. Right. Because um, we talked about why wouldn't somebody get pinball machines? What a fun way to you know keep yourself entertained during the pandemic. The only problem is is that playing with multiple people, you've got to all you know touch the machine, and you're always going to have to basically purell yourself up. Yeah, anything about like a game room is 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 it's just not doable. It seems like for a lot of places. Well, how about this? There's an arcade here right in the lovely land of Seattle that just introduced touchless pinball machines. You control those with foot pedals. Oh, I thought they had like an employee that stood there and you just said, left finger, right finger, <laughs> both fingers. <laughs> that would have been amazing. I actually like that idea. <laughs> I th- you know what? That <laughs> what, would be just fun. to bark at a random person? That would be very, very fun. The place is called uh, Attaball Amusements in, uh, in the Fremont area. I had no idea. You know, Ad- oh, anybody yeah. know Attaball? Yeah. It's, it's right next to the vasectomy clinic. So they... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> at a ball. Wow. Yeah, it's to take a ball. I know, I get it. I get it. Steve. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Sorry. Yeah, I appreciate You're not it. sorry. Yeah. I'm uh, sure as hell hope they are actually next to a vasectomy clinic. That would be fantastic. Um, so they closed their doors in early March because obviously Corona. And uh, co owner Brad Johnson said employees started discussing possibilities to resume gaming before the business reopened its doors this week. And uh, here he is talking about it. I really didn't think that we'd be able to use pinball machines or any kind of an, an amusement device until our ingenious employee, Alex, a.k.a. Sleepy, he came up with the idea of, of putting pedals on a pinball machine and using all foot-operated controls. Two days later, we had a prototype because I got all the parts and we started putting this thing together. I've seen people play just as well using their feet as they would with their hands. And then also your hands are free to do other things. You need another drink! Oh, I was like, wait, dude. You don't know that's COVID friendly. You don't want people playing with joysticks while they're also playing pinball. Dude, it's got the little button so you you got a foot lever for when you fire off the ball and then also for the the left and right toggle switch thingy. Yeah, that's pinball talk right there. Right, you're, you're, you're going over my head with some of your terminology. Sorry, yeah. yeah, I wonder if this is going to make him like or like practice up for a, be a better drummer. You know what I mean? I was thinking like a drummer would probably be really good at this. Yeah, and they're all, how about this? Attaball is also encouraging customers with Nintendo Switches to bring their portable consoles so they can play still play video games with their friends. And again, this place is in Fremont, Attaball, so it's making national news. That's cool. Yeah, I've been there. It's like going into someone's old basement. It's just kind of grungy and awesome looking. I love that place. Yeah, it doesn't have like a very, like, it doesn't look fancy. And I I mean that in a good way. Like, it's got that dive bar feel to it. Hole in the wall. It's perfect. That's really a a very creative idea. And most people were sitting down while they were working those things. But I think it'd be kind of cool if you had like a a Dance Dance Revolution (laughs) mat that you could be just jumping around on to make the pinball thing. Wow. I mean, that's a lot of work. DDR, I'd get a little exercise if I could DDR my way to pinball fun. That's a lot of work. All right. Well, you and Steve aren't going to do it then. No, not really. We've learned that. Because someone said, why don't we just use gloves for pinball? I mean, that sounds like a way more costly. Here's the problem with gloves. The gloves are meant to protect you, but if everyone is using touching surfaces and then touching the same, I don't know. I mean, maybe it works. Yeah, I guess you you have less chance of like touching your nose and your eyes with your foot than you do with like your hands. Oh, you don't know what I can do with my feet, brother. I'd like to see you do it. All right. Uh, We have a private room. uh, All right, come on, Stretchy McStrucker, Stretcher (laughs) Shay. I guess we all stayed up way too late watching that damn Seahawks game. We really did. And they didn't win. No, they didn't. So I'm extra sad. <laughs> yeah. It's time for listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. We'll take your calls and texts at 917 on the rock. DJ and Migs. Mornings on the rock. 99.9 KISW. Point nine KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's Listeners on the Loose. Brought to you by Spartan Plumbing. This is where you get to pick the topic. You get to guide the show. That's right. Steve has all sorts of ideas, but you nah. can go, sorry, Steve, 9 o'clock hour is mine. That's right. He's handing it over to them, BJ. But Steve can't give up full control, which means if you don't follow his rules, well, show some energy and bring it. Otherwise, we have to gong you. And then say goodbye. Goodbye, old friend. Simple as that. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Uh, texts are coming in, so I want to know, what are you all going to be for Halloween? Do you even have any plans? LOL, what a weird year. You guys laughed at me because I have a, I have a wardrobe dilemma. Yeah, dude. 
I got that text, and I was like, this is the only kind of text that BJ would send. Right? And it was a brick of text late at night. I thought BJ, like, had some sort of, like, panic attack or, like, something happened bad. No, it's about... Costume. So all of a sudden, I don't even know what time it was at. I'm trying to see. Uh, it was like it was like right in the afternoon, close to like the evening. Yeah, uh, BJ reasonable says, on the weekend. Breaking. <laughs> if we had a rule, it would it seems like it would break the rule. Yeah. But yeah, that's cool. Um, <laughs> hey kids, I'm having a wardrobe crisis over here. Thursday is cracking shirt day. Friday is Hawks day, and Friday is also the last work day before Halloween. So what do we do? Yeah, that's a legitimate question to that. This is our morning show group. I didn't like, you know, I didn't text an individual. I threw in that stupid group where you guys show me pictures of pizza and little cats and whatever. So um, I figured, yeah. why can't I throw a question uh, in there? Uh, that's a fair. That's a fair point. That's why I keep it on do not disturb so I don't even have to see these things until <laughs> exactly. I feel like it. I, I didn't text you directly. <laughs> but then, you know, Danny responds with just a zombie Seahawk picture. I think you should be a zombie Seahawk fan. I think you should yourself. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like the rest suggestion was that you should dress up like the Marin the Moose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, why not? You got all the sports. There you go. Yeah, man. And then yeah. DJ, he could just tell in the tone that he was not very pleased with you guys. Nope. Because he just said, you guys are so much help. I guess we can skip Halloween since Danny won't even be here anyways. Yeah, yeah it's true because Danny's flying the coop. So I was like, well, you know what? He's the only one. The only one who cares about Halloween. So this, this this hit you on the weekend as like a, a yes. actual dilemma. Like, it what do I wear me. on Friday? Okay, Arr! we've talked about this before. You know, I have all of my outfits planned for the, for entire, the entire week. week. Oh yeah. So, well, usually I do. Sunday is when I go. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. That's when I was in the middle of doing it. Going, what? Wait a minute. And I so I asked. I told you how I like to operate my life. No, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, so did you come to a conclusion? No, I was asking for help. I have no help. I don't know what your stupid rules are around here. I know I get there shamed. There are no rules. You do what you want. No, I get shamed if I don't wear my Kraken shirt on Thursday, and I get shamed if I don't yeah. wear my Hawk and shirt on Friday. You could, you could be like, whatever. Screw you guys. I don't care. Oh, I don't want to be, I don't want to listen to you people. Oh. So yeah, you never wear costumes, but yeah. I, I, I actually know what your quote unquote costume is yes. this year. Uh, and I feel like you should wear that with Seahawks socks and just call it a day. Oh, there you go. Ooh, yeah. That's actually a good idea. Wear a Seahawks hat. Where were way, you last night, Vicky? I was. I have you on Do Not Disturb for a reason. Yeah. You, you know what Vicky is? Tough questions. Do you know what Vicky is, guys? I want you to really problem take solver. Yes, helpful. Well, She's not a troll. How, how could you not figure fair? that out? Just be like, hey, I'll wear a Seahawks hat or something, and then my costume. I totally forgot I had Seahawks socks. Actually, I do. <laughs> so, you well, know, how am I you... supposed to know that you have Seahawks socks? Well, how am I supposed to know even when I can't remember? So I can't ask you to know. Side note, when I introduce BJ to people or where I explain who BJ is in my life, I'm like, he is my 60-year-old son or my 60-year-old toddler. Because I go. am his mommy. It's pretty fair, to be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. I just had Vicky take care of some business for me just about 10 minutes ago. So. It's like, Mommy, yeah. can you do this for me? I, okay, I got you. Yeah, it's so true. Because, I mean, and, you know, and Vicky actually, that's, you know, you know she is the oldest young person you'll ever meet. True. So it really works out well. It's a great relationship. <laughs> Ask me what you think I'm going to wear on Friday. Uh, I was look at look look on your face. <laughs> you know what? When I ask questions, it's the questions that I really want. But so, uh, I'll ask you anyway, even though I don't give a flying fish. What are you going to wear on Friday? I don't know. I haven't planned it out yet. <laughs> oh, I'll figure it out on Friday morning. That's because you're that kind of person. I'll, whatever I pull out of first on in my dryer, yeah. that's what I'm going to wear. You okay over there, Danny? I'm good. True. So, uh, well, here's the thing. <laughs> so you laughing. Usually, you guys. I mean, you in previous Halloweens, you've actually planned outfits I and ordered zero stuff. I've heard into things. Thinking about it this year. That's what I figured too. Yeah. If Danny was here, though, I think it would be different. But since Danny's going to take the day off to fly to see his, his kid and hang with her on Halloween, I, I think Halloween pressure is a little lower in this room. I, I think 2020 has put the pressure lower. I think if Danny was here or not, I'd still have that same mentality. Yeah. Like, if something comes up, maybe I will. Because, like, we still haven't even got a costume yet. It, to answer, like, the second part of what plans we're going to have, like, obviously, trick or treating is not really going to happen. And we have also a, a, a 10 month old. Uh, soon to be 11 months. I don't think she's oh, really going to. Yeah. But, but we already got her a costume. Yeah. See, so, people have done that. I'm surprised. If, if it was a regular Halloween, Steve, would you take her around? Because I know people, no. they. Oh, I would. You, you would have been. I would have cl- clapped for you because everybody does that. And I go, she's only 10 months old. Come on. No, but we're going to take her to like her grandma's and her great grandma's. Well, that makes so sense. they could see the costume. Yeah, she, that, that's cool. Yeah, like that to me is that. And we're still going to do that. Like, so we already got her costume. We got Lulu's costume, but we haven't gotten yeah, mine or my uh, wife's costume yet. Back in the day. They're both going to be uh, Tinkerbell. Aww. What? Oh, that's, that's adorable. True. That's really Lulu's awesome. one came with a wig. Oh, my God. That's amazing. <laughs> Can you please put Are, are you going to be Tinkerbell, too? 
I don't think so. Come on! <laughs> That's I what think, makes it amazing. I think my wife will also be Tinkerbell, and then I think I'm going to be Pirate Guy. Oh, Captain Hook. Captain yeah. Hook. Pirate oh, I was Aaron hoping guy. you'd be Peter Pan. I, okay. if, if there's a Peter Pan costume, I'm going to lean towards Peter Pan, because my wife's like, are you, would you be okay with wearing tights? I'm like... Yeah, I wear tights most weekends when I'm that's at my really friends. Good point. Like, that's really all you got to do before, before this pandemic. Like, I looked forward to wearing tights. As a, as a, <laughs> yeah, really. As a wrestling guy, you probably just don't have the hook, but you probably have everything else you need. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, this is just another opportunity for me to wear tights. Yeah, I'm totally down with that. All right, fair enough. Uh, that uh, that actually is very adorable. That yeah. whole family outfit thing. Even, that, yeah, yeah, for picture purposes, yeah. I think it'll be pretty fun. I back in the day uh, before I went to therapy, and when we used to you know live in a place where kids would keep trick or treat, I would fight with the people that came with their. 10 month old you would not oh yeah you would say i'm not giving them candy yeah i'm like you're not getting any candy the kid can't eat it and i know you're just glomming off the cute kid and my wife was looking at me <laughs> good morning jeez so man candy. you Sorry, understand there's a budget and i have kids coming over i am not giving candy to adults so how do you feel about then like teens showing up with like a oh yeah a half-ass costume let me tell you right now it depends like a on their yeah hat. there's oh yeah the half-ass costume get the f out of my head yeah get out of here you would tell people to go away oh yeah I don't care what you came up to my house with. Oh, you could no. even be showing up to my house to like sell like a religion onto me and not even there for Halloween. I'd be like, here's some candy. Yeah. Good luck with your Jehovah's Witness thing. Especially teenagers because they're not out you know, <laughs> drinking or doing anything bad. They're just wanting some candy. So yeah, why yeah. wouldn't I get it's it It's a gateway that? drug. Yeah. It's a gateway drug. Candy, get nothing. Candy, 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 candy. Okay. Teach them a hard lesson. You know what? Next thing you know, they're on meth and it's because BJ gave them candy. <laughs> That's, right. That's what it is. That's why I'm not going to Walter White them to, the, you know, to their future. So you would like give somebody a hard time when it's like this... Kind of like a cool moment, baby's first Halloween, yes. and they're like, the you know, baby be- is oblivious to it. But it's it's just the story that they get to share yeah, about the like- one time this angry man yelled. They wouldn't even say old man. You were not even old at that. No, time. No, no, I really was. I was. I've been an old man for a long time. I'm just finally looking like it. Yeah. I took my foster brother trick or treating last year. He was a. Almost a year old. He wasn't a year old oh, yet. You were too young. And he had so much fun. And then what I ended up doing, took okay. a picture of him with his candy yeah. and then proceeded to give that candy to the kids in yeah. my door. Uh, I love how oh, human oh, repurposed it. So I repurposed it. I just wanted a picture of him yeah. with his candy and yeah. then I he, gave it away. You know what? When a one year old looks like he's having fun, he's passing gas. You don't know what kind of fun yeah. anybody's having. Uh, yeah, when he's one like year me. old. He's giggling and he's laughing. That's because all I care he's about. He's farting all over the place hey. while you're eating his candy. Not in my life. This is my kids a year and a half. We're going to be doing Spooky Halloween Egg Hunt. And he's doing it as a, uh, he's going as a Ghostbuster and also as the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Can the kid walk? Nice. Uh, a year if and a half? I don't know. So that's what I'm saying. If the kid can walk, he gets candy. It, like, if that, the kid can't walk, you and your, get off my lawn. He should be walking by then. Yeah, if he can walk, then the kid what deserves if, candy. He's what, bringing his own bag. I'll give it to him. What if the kid can say trick or treat but can't walk? If the kid can say trick or treat, I might make an exception, but I'm going to look in his eye and see if he's actually knowing what that means. What if the kid can't, just can't walk? Like, well, I mean, for- look, obviously, if the kid's got issues, sure. But, I mean, if it's an infant kid that can't... Hey, kid. Have, you know I see, I mean? you're in a wheelchair. I'm not insensitive. Sorry, I can't give you any candy. No. And you- sorry about no, that. I'm yelling. not insensitive. I'll just yell at babies. No, I'll yell at the parents. The baby does not... It's not the baby's fault. It's like a dog. Dog comes to your yard, takes a dump. It's not the dog's fault. If a kid's being dragged around by his dumbass parents, and he's like, I'd rather be home, Damn. but it's a cold night, so my mother-in-law, my mother can get a friggin' Milky Way. I mean, seriously. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, no, you're done. You're done. And that's happy Halloween. Happy Halloween yeah. to you all, people. Well, it is listeners on the loose, by the way. Uh, you pick the topic, you guide the show. 206 421 Rock. Text us at 77999. I got your calls. I got your texts at 933 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Your home equity. 
It could be an untapped opportunity instead of an untouchable asset. Introducing HomeTap. HomeTap is an investor, not a lender. They give you cash in exchange for a share of your home's future value. Use it to pay off debt, make renovations, fund a business, or just live a better life. There's no interest or monthly payments to worry about. HomeTap. Get more from home ownership. Get more from life. Subject to eligibility, terms and conditions apply. Visit HomeTap.com to apply in minutes. That's HomeTap.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic, you guide the show at 206 421 Rock. Text us at 77999. Oh, we got a nice text. Whoa, what? Yes, from Robin, Robin Wickersham. Says, I'm not listening right now, but I listen to podcasts later in the day, and I just want to let you guys know how powerful it was hearing that caller with a stutter last week. I was in a funk, feeling sorry for myself in a moment of grief. I was cleaning out the garage with my parents, who had both recently just passed. I'm a widow, and I was doing this alone and missing my husband. Luckily, I don't live in my grief, but it hits me hard from time to time. Anyway, her positive attitude brought me to tears and helped me refocus on what I was working on. Thank you so much for putting her on the radio. Today, I'm actually looking forward to getting out of the garage. I cannot begin to tell you what your show means to me. Sincerely, Robin. Oh, Robin, that is, um, I'm so, so happy that we're able to help you through this grieving process, which You're is... You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> so, so happy we could do that. And um, it does, it, that touches me to know that that our show does that for somebody because sometimes you know i i go i don't know what are you know am i really doing anything am i just being an idiot because we don't get to see the audience yes you know when i did stand-up comedy you could you could see the benefit you had immediately with what you were doing and this job we don't always see that until we get a message like that and it reminds me that as i'm speaking it's very possible i'm doing a nice job for somebody so thank you yeah it was a lot of positive stuff when we had that lady on last week which was oh, really yeah. cool that was, that was that was some cool stuff that like how, how it touched some people but yeah because you're like we have like the tax line and social media, but I, I don't know if anyone knows this, but sometimes that brings out the worst in people or it's just the most miserable people are the ones that reach out to you on those kind of things. So you don't know <laughs> more of it. You're not going to like just send someone a message of positivity. So that was really appreciated. Yeah. And thank you. And, and, and if we can be, I'm, I'm so happy that we can help you as you're trying to pretty much go forth with your new life, you know, um, uh, Robin and, uh, much love to you. Just, you know, no, 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 that we love you. And if we're helping out, man, I'm happy because that's, you know, that's, that's a challenge, no doubt about it. And you have homework, Robin. Next time you listen to the podcast, you need to text in and let us know what if you prefer plums as a part of like the, okay, the fruit not, family. Oh, here we go. Crazy. Robin's not a terrorist. Well, I want to know what she thinks about plums. All right, fine. Because someone just texted in, plums are for champs, grapes are for weenies. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, that's decided. See, I like. Don't get me twisted. I love grapes as well. Like, I I'm not, love grapes. I'm not. I'm not saying grapes suck. I'm just saying plums are better. I have no desire to have a plum. If somebody put a plum in front of me and said, please have it, maybe I would give it a shot. <laughs> Who's going to come here? Sir, please eat this plum. That's what I'm saying. I kind of want to now. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> a plum is never my choice. I always will go for grapes. BJ plums on Friday. <laughs> plum Friday. Oh, yeah. Is that going to stress you out? Yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> you know, if you're going to wardrobe shame me. Yes, I am. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, is it how you eat your plums? Like, how do you eat your plums? Maybe I that's... don't eat plums. That's why I don't. I can't you, tell you the last you, time I had a plum. You bite all around the pit, then you uh. pull out the pit, then you eat the rest of it. See, uh. that's why I think maybe you don't like the plum. <laughs> if you cut what it, are you a plumologist? How do you know what's in my head about plums? I don't. I'm just trying to offer you other options and other ways to enjoy it because it might just be the way that you're eating it. That makes you not... <laughs> how about this? <laughs> how about you enjoy your? F- plum and i oh, don't enjoy go. a plum how about that right. i mean i mean i'm not telling you you can't have a plum i'm going to continue I'm, to eat my tasty grapes i just want you to explore all options before you give up on the plum i have given up on the plum okay i don't need the plum in my life if they if, if we ran out of grapes and we ran out of watermelon but wouldn't you want like if they said hey we could give you something that is like what you like but only bigger and better when you want it. <laughs> well, now that you put it that Vicky, way, Sailor. Right? Yeah, hey. I mean, I have tried the cotton candy grapes. Those are better. Those are so I, good. I actually don't like them. What? How could you not like those? Well, I'm not a big fan of cotton candy. Oh, man. You're not Jeez. a fan of sugar? Well, no, I like sugar, yeah, but there's a much, love sugar. But, but there's a better delivery system to, for sugar to me than, than cotton candy. Ah, I mean, I know, sticks. I mean, really, <laughs> cotton, <laughs> peanut butter cups. Yeah, cotton oh, yeah. candy to me. I always thought outside of like I go to fairs and now fairs have upped the game. If you go to a fair for cotton candy, when you can get like a deep fried Twinkie you covered in molasses and then ears. have a girl in a bikini <laughs> just shove it in your mouth. Whoa! How would you, 
How what fair know? is this? Yeah. That's oh, not yeah. happening at the Washington State it's Fair. Some sort of weird fair. Fair in my mind. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, there's so many, so much great fair food now. The cotton candy, I think, should just be kicked out. No, it's, I mean, it's, it's a traditional gold standard. I'm sorry, scones are the gold standard of the Puyallup Fair. Oh, so, duh. Or the Washington State now. Oh, so I, I would never scones. go for cotton. When do you ever, see, I would never go for cotton candy. And then usually some fair, wherever it is around the country, they have their, they like, they have their scones standard. Why would I ever go for cotton candy? I'm when it comes to cotton candy, I don't I don't really want it when it's already prepackaged for me and like they just give it to me already done. Like we I'll, have to get our spun right. Yeah. That's the fun of it all is like mm-hmm. to be able to watch them make the cotton candy. I will totally. give you that. I like watching it being made, and I like it when someone else eats it. I'm a voyeur is really what I am. But see, you and what do you like better, that or elephant ears? Because elephant ears are my go-to as well. Oh, elephant ears are like number two. Uh, see, over, over cotton candy? Uh, it's over cotton candy yes. with scones being number one. Yeah. See, that's why. Where do you got room for cotton candy after you enjoy scones and elephant ears? Dude, all day? they're so light, it's so light and fluffy. How can you not eat cotton candy? Yeah, yeah. I'll find something else. Huh. Yeah, I feel like we are having a debate about fair food. Like we just need to start with number two. Like number one is just a scone. Yeah, I mean, well, how you're not going to have the argument. Yeah. How do you fight that? You Especially can't. here in Washington, you really can't. Ooh, I think I just changed my number two. Whoa, yeah. to the yeah. big ass turkey leg. Man, I, I, I love doing that. I just feel like I'm a caveman when I eat yeah. those things. See, I need to go with someone who doesn't is not vegan to the fair one of these times so I could do that because it's just such a... <laughs> it really is, yeah. It's, hey, it's, can, you, can yeah. you mind waiting in line so I get a giant yeah, <laughs> stick of, of meat? meat. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so good. Yeah. it's so amazing. I've never had the turkey like oh, that. Oh, we got to uh, make this You got to go with Danny and somehow keep your wife and family. Can we bring a photographer so we can get a photo shoot of all of us? Like, remember when the Seahawks won that Thanksgiving... Turkey yes. bowl game. Yes. The, and, and like Russell Wilson and Richard Sherman left the field, one holding the whole turkey and the other one holding the, the turkey leg. Like, <laughs> just <sighs> like we are the champions. Those were the good old days when Richard Sherman and liked Russell. Those yeah. Were the good old days. Dude, to this day, my mom still, anytime like we're eating any kind of holiday meal, mostly Thanksgiving, but we do turkey sometimes at uh, Christmas, she always saves me the, the turkey leg. Oh. As like, that's my status, that's man. That's my part. Mom. Like, yes. That means you're the king of the castle. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> really? Are. Gravy and so good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, dude, I've seen my family almost implode when someone t- had the turkey leg that wasn't deemed worthy of the turkey leg. <laughs> oh, was that, was that your dad? Yeah, you do well. I would. Yeah, listen, oh, the man dude, of the house. Did he lose the, his mind. The man of the yes. house who's hosting Thanksgiving. That's his. You can't yeah, take that from it him. Totally should be. My dad will kick you out of his house if you eat the turkey. Your leg. dad would probably yeah. knife me. Let's that, be honest. That's, and it's acceptable. <laughs> that is your, acceptable. Your father isn't just going to kick somebody out of the house. There will be a drag out fight. I'll probably go through the picture window if I take your <laughs> dad's turkey. Sit leg. on his chair. Yeah. Or eat his turkey leg. So what happens if I sit on his chair while eating his turkey leg? Man, <laughs> else better break <laughs> oh, I think he would be on the 6 o'clock news. <laughs> yeah, he would. I really think he might do something extremely <laughs> oh, violent. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, that's... I kind of want to see that. I yeah, almost I know, wanna, yeah, right? I, Danny, how much can I pay you to go to <laughs> a mixed Thanksgiving and sit will in... You co- will you cover the hospital me? bills? Yeah. Oh, I'll cover Well, nowadays, yeah. it's, a, it's a tougher sell because it takes a lot for my dad to get off the couch. So I feel like Danny could have a great head start. Here's what I need. No, you know what I want? This will get your father pissed. Danny will be eating out of the back seat, out of the trunk of Danny's car. He will be in your father's chair eating a turkey leg, blocking your dad's car in a parking lot. Then, right? Then your dad is out of control. Because Danny's doing the big three. Your dad can't get out of the parking lot. It's his chair for some reason that's been taken. I like taken. How got nominated for this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good job, dude. Look, someone has to take it. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Well, you, you it, might be the quickest. He looks yeah. like a punk, you know, so right. he has that punk look to him. And I'll cry on top of that. Oh, oh he hates criers. Yeah, yeah see, exactly. forget he's, about it. Cool. Yeah, and we're going to line the area that he has to walk to Danny with all of Steve's old Lego toys, so that he steps on them. Just keeps getting better and better. This way, I mean, we have to ensure that your dad will just lose his mind. Some texts are that speaking of Thanksgiving. Uh, they said if you, if you have to get rid of one Thanksgiving food, what goes away? Oh. Danny, huh? Are we eating him? Well, yeah, what the hell? Listen, oh. man. Hey, look. If I'm on a Thanksgiving and I'm in a boat in the ocean and there's nobody else, I'm going to have Thanksgiving. Oh, what am I going to get rid of at Thanksgiving? Ah, uh, yams. Uh, no, one hundred percent. The worst yams. yams. The worst. Uh, Thanksgiving. That's food. like the first thing I'm going to eat. Uh, yeah. Well, I like candy, candy yams. but see, yeah, I think I think Danny's onto something because Milky I like I like the cranberries and I yeah. like the stuffing and I like the turkey and see, I like the mashed potatoes. I even what like I... green bean casserole when it's on Thanksgiving. Yes. yes. Yeah, but I think that might be the first to go. Really? Mm. Yeah. I, I, with I Steve, I think casserole. if I had to choose between yams or green bean casserole, I think I might let the green beans go. 
Yeah, stuffing though. Like, why do you need stuffing if you already oh have mashed potatoes? Because you have to eat both. Mouth. Yeah, stuff, I've, stuffing is nothing like mashed potatoes. Like, Somebody I, check I, her ID. Did she? Are you working for ISIS? Well, I never grew up eating stuffing. I only when I go to people's houses, and it's just like this is just mushy bread. Oh gosh, I love mushy bread. Uh, not if it's done right. It's more than mushy bread. No, yeah. I'd rather have done right mashed potatoes, and I will have Look, three helpings. Of you can mashed. have both. I don't want stuffing. If you told me gun to my head, I have to pick mashed potatoes or stuffing. I'm, I'm with you. I'm getting rid of the stuffing. Mm-hmm. But of all the dishes, but, oh, I don't know about have, that. You I might can have, have, have mashed potatoes anytime. And stuffing I, is Thanksgiving only. And, and I want treat. mashed potatoes like every day of my life. Um, mashed potatoes. And you use that spoon to make a little, like a yes. little swimming pool yeah. of gravy. Yeah, so Vicky you can't get that all the time. Do you think that's <laughs> cultural? Did you ever? I mean, because I mean, outside of Thanksgiving, and since I mean, obviously in Mexico, I, they don't have the same kind of Thanksgiving mm-hmm. we do. So I bet they, you, you maybe you guys, your, your family never was ever exposed to stuffing at all. Because I only know I mean, it from American Thanksgiving. I think the way we celebrate Thanksgiving has been kind of passed down. When my parents came to this country and they made American friends, and my uncles married some of my uncles married American ladies. They would share different dishes, and my parents just picked and choose which ones they like. So I, ne- they never like stuffing. I can't blame them because when you think about it, Vicky's right. If somebody said, "Would you like to take some bread and mush it all up and have it be this consistency that you're not used to?" Mm-hmm. I think the I think any other country might go, "Ah, uh, no, thank you." But sometimes it's just done right. You got more than just mushed up oh, bread. I'm in with there. you, buddy. Mm-hmm. Even fair? the mushed up stuffing is to me is so good. I must say, I get rid of the turkey. F the bird, give me ham. All right, well, uh, I, well, see, I would no. get rid of the ham. Yeah, I can't and, I'm, do and I'm also not going to be involved with the bird that way. But yes, no, we uh, just said we want the stuffing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess that you, somebody has to stuff the bird somehow. I wouldn't put the turkey in my top three. Oh, I would. Yeah, you no. would. No. Yeah, t- yeah, turkey's probably my second favorite. Huh? Ooh, that's first, a big that's a big jump. First favorite is my is my st- is the stuffing. Stuffing, yeah, stuffing, I love stuffing. So Turkey. Much. So, Steve, what is your top three? It's uh, candied yams. Okay. Well, uh, that's number one. Yeah. Whoa. Easily. Wow. That's the thing. I get seconds, maybe even third helpings that's of. That's the one with the little marshmallows, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Burnt on top, and I know I, I know this is like a problem with a lot of people, but that's fine. You know, I'm willing to stand on that mountain and die on it. <laughs> All right. Good call. Good call. You know what? I am not going to enter in my own lottery numbers to win a lottery ticket. I'm not going to do that, but. Damn it! Then I go, marshmallows are mine. Then I go stuffing and mashed potatoes, yeah. and maybe Ooh. you know honorable mention the ambrosia salad just to piss everyone off even a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Nice, the pink stuff, man. Yeah. I love the pink stuff. Yeah, you do. <laughs> just trying to. So, think. what's your top three? Uh, my, my top three? Yeah, it's stuffing and mashed potatoes. And oh, I, I guess turkey. I mean, because I don't have turkey that I much, guess. Uh-huh. so I'm going to say turkey. I mean, I I do like the, but I only like the canned cranberry sauce. I don't like real cranberry. Oh, sauce. I'm with you, straight up. Yeah, yep. yeah. don't give me uh, that like freshly made crap. Yep. <laughs> oh, I have to forget. Wait, I might have to kick turkey down because I make my special cream of corn, where I basically just get oh, a can of cream of corn, corn, and then a package of frozen <laughs> corn and mix it all together because I want oh, like yeah, a full corn cream of corn cob? experience. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I like corn on the cob. I, I like corn dish. Which is actually pretty damn awesome in yeah, Thanksgiving. Right? You're right. Yeah. So I might have to drop um, the mashed potatoes down a notch. <laughs> is yeah. it Thanksgiving yet? Oh, gravy! By the way, but gravy's a must for everything. Yeah, just gravy goes on everything, though. Yeah, but see, there are some there are some heathens that don't put gravy on stuff, see, and I look at them and I go, you know what? You need to leave this country. It's interesting that Vicky said because her family's from Mexico, my family's from New Mexico. We put red chili on everything instead of gravy. No, I'm sorry for your I, I on your mashed use, potatoes. Oh yeah, that's that's Weird. what they do. I I used still use gravy, but we make both these days. The one thing I don't put a lot of gravy on though is turkey. Really? I don't want really? too much gravy on my turkey. Oh, I soak it in it. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I want my I want my turkey swimming like a swimming pool of gravy. Mm-hmm. You know, right in mm-hmm. the deep end too, so I can you know really. Oh yeah, another month until we get this damn Thanksgiving meal. <laughs> Basically, yeah. 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 Can we can we like make another Thanksgiving? I mean, I'm not opposed. Yeah, Let's especially if you do it, Vicky. Okay. <laughs> no great, yeah. Just put it Vicky, on her. You mind if I bring in food that I cook for you? All right, I suppose okay. if you're gonna do it. All right, here's a big question that needs to be answered. What do Ryan Castle and ghosts have in common. I'm going to tell you at 9.51 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. And now, the Ryan Castle question of the day. What do Ryan Castle and ghosts have in common? Sometimes I go bump in the night. Ah, yeah, you do. Bumps right if into I'm lucky. Yeah. Bumps right into joy. So it says both will haunt Steve's house soon. Yeah, that's true. Both are scared the crap out of Migs, yeah. and both will slime you, Slimer. Mm. Yeah. 
That's nice. So here's the question. Uh, do you really believe in ghosts? I'm not going to answer so that Joe Dredd and his lovely wife Healy won't pepper me with how they exist. Messages. I'm well, just, now they are. You're yeah. asking, you just invited them into your home. Well, I didn't, no, give, an, I didn't, give, an, I didn't give an answer. I didn't say Beetlejuice three times. Twenty uh, percent of Americans say they definitely do not believe in ghosts. They don't think they exist. And uh, but twenty percent say that they believe ghosts do exist. Then you get that sixteen percent that, of course, I don't know. I don't know if I believe in ghosts or not, but I do believe that ghost stories at random dinners are very boring. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't they like just it? go on and on and on. It's like sometimes someone will share you a ghost story, and you're just like. This is probably interesting for you, but I don't oh, know. God, you and I were at one of those. I, I know. I was hoping you'd, you'd, you'd call that. <laughs> uh, the entire dinner was the guy true. telling us a ghost yeah. story. Yeah, that's, The whole thing. Uh, it just kept going. Well, Ryan Cassidy. Recently, that was February, by the way. Uh, back when still, you could do that sort of thing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But he's still telling the story. Oh, it still happens. That's true. Yeah. It hasn't yeah. stopped yet. Uh, Ryan Castle. He's got a 12-pack. That's up next. <laughs> DJ and Migs play of the day. When I go to sleep at night, sleeping a certain way, I hear like a Morse code set of beeps, and my mind starts going, You don't know Morse code, but what if this is the winning lottery number being sent to you by God? You and you keep ignoring it. it every time. This is like some Quiet. lost stuff going on here. Right. Get I'm in the hatch and the play it. Sound. You're hoping it's like lotto numbers, like winning yeah, lotto so numbers. It's, it's, probably, with me. it's probably alien sexting you or something. Well, that. <laughs> All right. I mean, you know Either what? way, listen. I don't mind I, I don't mind if ET is trying to slide into my DM. DJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How much does bankruptcy cost? Well, bankruptcy costs, of course, vary depending on what type of uh, case you're filing. There's a certain amount of, of, of court costs and other out-of-pocket costs that you're going to have in any case. Uh, the, the filing fees in a bankruptcy case are, are about $300, whether you file Chapter 7 or Chapter 13. Uh, one of the things to watch out for when you're shopping for bankruptcy attorneys or, or looking at the different cost options is that a lot of times, especially the really cheap uh, places, don't tell you up front about all the court costs and whatnot that you're going to have to pay in addition to the attorney fees. So make sure that you get the full picture when you're talking, when you're comparing prices of bankruptcy lawyers on what the attorney fees are, how much your court costs are going to be so that you can really make a true comparison. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. $20 $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only.